After the theory of heterogamesis, the second type of theory that was proposed in order to understand the chromosomal base for sex determination is the genetic balance theory. This theory was formulated first by a scientist named Bridges. He was a student of Morgan. According to him, the sex determination based on the chromosome depends on the ratio of number of X chromosome to that of the autosomes. That is, depends upon the X by A ratio which determines the sex of an individual. In this his theory, the experiments were carried out using triploid female flies. Where the chromosome arrangement was triple A plus triple X. However, in case of males, only single X chromosome occurred. So, according to him, it was not necessary that the Y chromosome should occur for maleness. Because his main focus was on the ratio that was obtained for the sex chromosome to the autosomes. Where these triplar female flies contain 3x chromosome and were for time in nature. Therefore, he arranged a cross breeding between such triplar female flies and the normal diploid male flies. This figure depicts the results between the crossing of female triploid flies with the male diploid flies. As it can be seen from the figure, the sperms that were produced only of single type that is A plus X and the female produced four types of X that is first A plus X, then double A plus double X, then A plus double X and double A plus X. So, in males, although two types of sperms were produced, one containing X and the other Y, but according to Bridges, the ratio of X chromosome to autosomes was only of importance. So, here we are considering only A plus X. So, this was the result that was obtained at the end of the experiment. According to him, if the ratio of X chromosome to autosomes is 1, then the female produced is normal female. As it can be seen from the this calculation, that though the autosome number can be 2 or 3, even same for the X chromosome, but still, if the ratio is 1, then the female is considered to be normal. Similarly, if the ratio in case of females is more than 1, that is for example, 2 autosomes plus triple X, then the female would be super sterile. Because here the number of X chromosome is more than that of the autosome. Similarly, if the number of X chromosome is less than that of the autosome in females, then the ratio would also be less than 1. So such a female would be sterile in nature. Considering in males, if the ratio is exactly 0.5, that is exactly half of the normal female, then the male produced is normal. Similarly, if the ratio of this X chromosome to autosome is more than 0.5, then the male resulting is intersex sterile. But if the male produces the ratio less than 0.5, then it is super male sterile. So this was how calculation was based for creating genetic balance theory. And accordingly, it can be determined that such a theory was proposed by Bridges on the basis of ratio of X sex chromosome to the autosomal one. On the basis of such results, Bridges proposed that in case of Drosophila,
the genes that are located for maleness are distributed all over the chromosome while in the other situation the genes that are responsible for the femaleness occurs only on the x chromosome So this is all about the genetic balance theory.